Hey, what's up? This is Beth with Carolina Eye Candy. If you've been considering getting eyelash extensions or any type of eyelash enhancement service done, then check out this video as I share with you how to prepare for and how to maintain your eyelash extensions. For the best in lashes, brows, and skin, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to get that Monday notification when a new video is posted. So to prepare for your eyelash extensions appointment and to maintain your eyelash extensions, there's some definite do's and don'ts. So let's get into them. Do come to your lash appointment with clean eyes and lashes. Yes, you may be coming after work. Yes, you may be coming after some type of event and you had to wear makeup. So you come in and your lashes have some things on them that will make it a little bit harder for the lash stylist it's going to make it a lot easier for you and the person who's doing the service if you come to your lash appointment with clean eyes and clean lashes don't come with mascara on your lashes mascara is just extremely hard to clean and it is going to be to your benefit and to the lash stylist benefit if you come without any type of mascara on your lashes do keep your eyelash extensions maintenance appointments to keep your lashes full and to prevent having to get another full set. Your lashes are going to grow. Your natural lashes are always growing. You're always growing a new full set of natural lashes about every couple of months. So you're going to be shedding natural lashes on a daily basis. Some days you may shed none, some days you may shed three or four. But the whole point of getting a full set of eyelash extensions is that you're just keeping them up and maintaining them by getting them filled in when you are having new natural lashes grow in. So that's typically every two to three weeks. Don't coat your extensions with mascara. Mascara is so hard to clean. And when you're cleaning them the right way, cleaning your lashes the proper way, it can cause a lot of friction and you don't want to pull and tug on the extensions. If you do feel the need to wear mascara, you want to apply it from the middle up to the tips. You do not want to place mascara from the base up. Do clean your lashes to keep them free of dirt, oils, and debris that can collect on the lashes. You may be wearing eyeshadow, eyeshadow fallout. When you sleep, sometimes your eyes may water and it may cause a crust around your eyes. Uh, don't be alarmed, but if you clean the lashes, it's going to help the life of the extensions. And if you're looking for an amazing cleanser, we do have one that we offer. You can check it out here at this link and we'll also have the link in the description box. Don't use oil-based products on the lashes. Oils are the nemesis to the adhesive. The oils will cause the eventual breakdown and shedding of the extensions off of your natural lashes, so you do not want to use oil-based products on your lashes. Do sleep on your back, if possible. <laughs> and if it's hard to sleep on your back, then we suggest you wear protective eye coverings to protect your extensions. If you're looking for an amazing eye covering that is comfortable and that's cute we have one that we sell out of a lot and these are amazing I wear them at night and sometimes it's hard for me to get in to get my lashes done so I love wearing these they're comfortable and they're cute and you can check them out at the link in the description box and they're really affordable as well don't use cotton on your lashes it's going to cause snagging, it's going to leave lint fibers on your lashes, so you do not want to use cotton balls, cotton rounds, Q-tips, things like that on your lashes. You want to use things that are going to be lint-free and that will not leave any type of debris or cotton or lint in your lashes. Do use a conditioning serum to keep your natural lashes strengthened and growing healthy. You are wearing extensions, of course. If you're going to go through with it, you want to make sure that you're caring for your natural lashes as well. Wearing eyelash extensions do not cause your natural lashes to just fall out. They don't cause damage to your lashes if they're done the right way. <laughs> but we also want to make sure that you are taking care of your natural lashes by strengthening them, conditioning them, conditioning them with a serum that has proven to have amazing peptides and vitamins that are going to nourish your lashes at the follicle level is highly recommended. And we have an amazing lash serum that you can check out. We'll have a link to it in the description box and it's really affordable and it's going to last you for about two to three months and you will use it after you cleanse in the morning and before you go to bed. 
don't pull your lashes out when they begin to grow out. When your extensions are growing out, they're going to grow out further away from the lash line. You may be tempted to pull a lash out that is annoying you, that's twisting and that's turning, but you don't want to pull it because you don't want to pull on your natural lashes and pull it out of the follicle. Just allow it to be and when that natural lashes come to the end of its life cycle, it's going to shed naturally. Do groom your lashes daily. You want to use a soft brush to brush through your lashes to groom them and you definitely want to make sure you're grooming your lashes as they grow out because as they grow and depending on the way your natural lashes are if they're pretty straight you may not have a whole lot of issues with the lashes twisting and turning but if you have natural lashes that are really curly or kinky or they just go in all different directions they may have a tendency to twist and turn a little bit more so you also want to make sure that you're grooming them carefully and you're not using the brush too hard to cause the lashes to be coming out of your follicles and pulling on the lashes. And this is a big don't. Don't put your face near the grill flames or a very hot oven. That can cause the lashes to singe, can cause the lashes to crinkle, and it may cause the lashes to melt and stick together. Extreme heat is not meant for it's not meant for extreme heat to be near your lashes let's just put it like that <laughs> so you want to make sure that if you're grilling if you're cooking out if you're baking if you're in the you know kitchen and you have a really hot oven don't put your face near the heat because that can cause your lashes to singe and you do not want to cause any type of searing or singeing or melting of your lashes and it's just not safe anyway so keep your beautiful face away from the heat and last but definitely not least do invest in the aftercare products to keep up with your lash extensions investment if you're going to make the investment whether the investment is 50 bucks or the investment is 500 bucks why would you not invest in the products that are meant to care for your lashes? You want to make sure that you're investing in good products and you're using quality products that are going to ensure that you're keeping up with your quality investment. So using the products that I've recommended as well as you know any products that your service provider, if you're not coming to Carolina Eye Candy, may recommend to you, I highly recommend it and just try it out. If it doesn't work for you, let the service provider know, but you want to make sure that you are investing in the aftercare of your lashes. So today we got to talk about the do's and don'ts of how to prepare for and how to maintain your eyelash extensions investment. So if you'd like to get a copy of our eyelash extension style and care guide that you can keep on your phone, you can save in your iBooks or you know wherever you save your PDF documents on your phone or on your computer, you can check it out. The link is below. So click that link and get your copy and I really appreciate it. I hope you found this video very helpful and I hope you find the guide equally as helpful as well. Thank you for liking this video, subscribing, and commenting below with hashtag Carolina Eye Candy if this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. It's our pleasure to answer your questions and we wish you much beauty and many blessings.